safe opening is an absolute pirate's adventure. I wish every safe I opened was full of gold bars and cash stacked to the top. Each safe is unique. It has its own way of being locked up and a special technique to get into each one. Oh, yeah. Manipulating a safe by sound is not like it is in the movies. A typical cat burglar in the middle of the night cracking open a safe doesn't happen that way. It takes specialized tools, a lot of time, and a lot of patience. It's a very difficult process, but you can open a safe by sound. It's not possible to make a safe that a man can't get into. If a man made it, another man can get in it. Where it's sitting tells me a lot about the safe, the safe owner. I literally put my hands on the safe, and a lot of times I get really bad vibes. Most of the time, I want to start with dialing diagnostics, make sure the lock is functioning correctly, make sure the handle has movement in it, make sure the door has movement in it. These are all things on my initial checklist. Some of the tools of the trade that we use are stethoscopes, optical visual aids, power tools, and on occasion, I've even had to torch my way in. Some of them are tough, some of them aren't. Some of them are in bad spots. Some of them are in stinky houses. A lot of safes are equipped with key locks. Some of them can be very easily picked. Some of them do not have picks. Uh, let's see what she's made of. Depending on what I find, I would love to pick a lock open rather than destroy the lock. Come on, come on. I love opening safes. Repairing safes, eh, not so much. Damn! Burglarized safe, different story. The guy got in, he beat on it all night, he knocked the handle off, he knocked the dial off, he cut the hinges off. I'm not gonna be delicate with that. It's gonna get messy. These things are meant to keep everyone out. Good, bad, ugly, and in between. And we walk in and we make it happen. We're performing small miracles every time we go to a safe. <laughs>